And today, Greg, it's about the NBA. But tomorrow, tomorrow it's about spending Turkey Day with family and friends. I think every realizes it's not something we can take for granted. Cherish those moments with your loved ones. They're likely to be your fondest memories. So a look at the starters for the Wizards. Bill Barton is out there with Kyle Kuzma. Then there's Bradley Beal. Then it's DeWan Wright. And it's Gafford in at the five spot. And so it's the Wizards getting on the board first. Pass to Stiff. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Here's Adebayo. Washington with the rebound. Last time they met was in Washington. It wasn't even close in their last matchup. And their offense just wasn't ready to compete at that level. Back to right. Passes to Gaffer. Five on the clock. Outside for Beal. And a miss there on the triple. Butler up top. Guarded by Wright. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And you know, over the last couple of seasons, it, it feels like the Washington Wizards roster is in now constant flux. I mean, from Jimmy. role players to all-stars, guys coming in and out. That free throw, no good. For Washington, how difficult, Greg, is it to win when your roster changes, as you were just talking about? It changes so much from year to year. It's really tough. I mean, take Spencer Dinwiddie. You know, he signs a big three-year deal, traded six months later. So when things like that happen, it's so difficult to create chemistry. And, of course, one of the league's longest tenured coaches, GA, is Eric Spolster. And he's having a Hall of Fame level career. And you look at the ground he broke when he was first hired. Not only young, Spo was the first Asian American head coach in any of the four major North American sports teams. Worked his way up from video coordinator. Here's Beal following the basket by Bam Adebayo. Down low. Here's Kuzma. And that one drops for him. That is Kyle Kuzma asserting himself against quality defense. Nice finish. There's the pass to Stiff. Back to Butler. Outside Lowry. Puts up a three. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Well, you see Kyle Lowry not a capable passer, but he on the catch is a willing scorer, always ready to shoot it. Barton outside. Back to right. No good. Shot missing. Great D that time from Adebayo. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Here is Stiff. Last game we saw him score 13. And here's Kuzma. Now Beal. And Wright kicks to Beal. Gafford. It's good on the putback. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Back to Butler. Here is Stiff. With an average of around 19 and a half points a game, his scoring has been a constant for them. Drops in the layup for two. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Here's Barton after the made shot from the kid. 
Martin outside, and there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Heat ball. And so Adebayo will bring it up for the Miami Heat, coming off that loss against the Timberwolves. Really a, a disappointing effort. That, that game could have and should have been closer than it was. I don't fault the effort. That was there all night. It was the quality of play that was lacking. There was not a ton of cohesion. They've got to figure it out. The shot by Beal, no good. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Martin against Butler to the paint. Here's Lowry. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And Kevin, little plays like that one will help them manage this lead heading into the half. How about the determination? Martin inside the line. That one doesn't drop. And the Heat going the other way now. Here's Butler. Shoots over Barton. Good ball movement here by Miami. Barton against Butler. Six to shoot. Out to the right wing. Here's Stiff. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Stiff's got five. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Beal against Stiff. Beal, the pass to Kuzma. Back to Beal. Shot to stop the run. He lays it in. Beal's got his second basket of the game. Well, this is how Bradley Beal just makes it impossible to guard him. Three-level scorer. This time he goes to the inside game. Plays it up and banks it in. Six points for him. <laughs> Whoa, he really got his defender on his heels on that one. What a fantastic play that is. Wright finds Beal. Kuzma outside. Has to Wright. They get a hand on it. Outside, Beal. Gafford passes to Kuzma. I think we've certainly seen Kyle Kuzma grow in his maturity and understanding about the game. It's not always about the scoring. It's what contributes to winning, and he has really grown in that aspect. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Heat. And guys, I love the movement, doing a great job of just getting the ball on a string, creating some opportunities. Yeah, and their assertiveness in the paint so far tonight has been impactful. They're really making it hard for the interior defense. And Washington making a change here. Morris has checked in. So he can't get either to fall. Well, the Washington Wizards trying to get their organization on track. I think bringing in Wes Unsell to lead that coaching staff is critical. Maintaining your tie to Bradley Beal is equally important. But boy, guys, it has been a while since they've had real success. Their last finals trip, 1979. Here's Morris. The Heat getting the bucket. From 10 feet out, good work defensively by Lowry. And Doris, what do you think the Wizards need to make a deeper run at the playoffs? Well, ambition is certainly a good place to start, but you have got to understand this is a process. And I think the change in management, the change in head coaching position, and the acquisition of someone like Kyle Kuzma, who's a multi-positional wing player that's important. Still a lot of questions for this organization. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Butler on the way to the middle. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. An outstanding athlete for a player of his huge build. Adebayo will bang and bump with the best of them. The Heat shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts for the game. And how about as a group? 80% 
on the season. One of their best attributes. And the first one drops. And the Heat with some changes. Dwayne Dedman's checked in for Martin. Oladipo comes in for Jimmy Butler. And Hero subbed in for Kyle Lowry. The Wizards also changing it up. Hachimura is checked in for Kyle Kuzma. Avdia comes in for Barton. And Kispert subbed in for DeLon Wright. And Adebayo drops them both. Wizards trail by 15. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Now, here's Avdia. He's averaging just around 8.5 points a game. Gafford misses. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Outside, Hero. Fires the three. One up, one down, two points with his first shot this game. Now, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. So, timeout called here. The first for the Wizards. Defeated by the Hornets in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Man, that game goes down to the wire. Both teams exhausted, but only one has something left for the encore. You know, that one's a tough one to take. You force the extra session, and then you have the heartbreak of not being able to get it done in the extra session. Brutal. Here we go, fans. Time to make some noise for your heat dancer. against Morris. Avdia with it. Back to Morris. Can they get it? It's Autobio with the rebound. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin. Particularly here to start the game. Pass to Stiff. Back to Hero. Just five to shoot to the left wing from deep three-point range offensive rebound heat Deadman trying to break free he gets that one Adebayo has got 10 what an aggressive mindset in this period he's starting to take over here's Kispert no good on the three the Heat beaten by 20 here's Oladipo Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Denny and he's got his first chance at the line here. Foul. Third team foul. Now at the line, Victor Oladipo. If a player is fouled on a made basket as he goes to the free throw. And that one misses. Well, what do you do with more responsibility on your plate? If you're Victor Oladipo, you ascend into one of the game's top talents. This guy, his hard work and mentality paying off. Miami's gone three of five from three-point land so far in the ballgame. Inside. Adebayo kicks to Hero. And he banks in the lane. Five points in the game. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now.
Washington shooting a pretty distressing 27% here in the early minutes. Avdia kicks to Morris. And that's a foul called on Bam Adebayo. That's his first foul. Personal foul. Second team foul. And the Wizards with possession. The Wizards working the ball around now. Lock at six. Kisper wide open. He fires. And you can see they're struggling from the field. And no good. The try spell continuing for him. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Morris outside. Passes it to Gaffer. Here's Kispert, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Of course, I've heard many times Corey Kispert talk about how glad he was to stay at Gonzaga for his senior year. Kev, his perspective was so great. What he said was he treated that season as a, quote, runway to the NBA, and that's what it proved to be. He improved in almost every phase of the game and went from a likely second-round pick to top 15. That is tremendous. That's good from Kispert. And so he hits both. And here is Hero. 23 points for him the last game against Minnesota. I thought his physicality was crucial, too. You know, he kept the defense on their toes and repeatedly got to the free throw line. Now, here's Adebayo. And he lobs it up toward the rim, takes the alley pass, and dunks it down. Building up a big early lead, they have taken charge of this game. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Hero against Morris. Gafford passes to Hachimura. Well, you know Rui wants to score it. He will not retreat in the face of some tough defense. Nicely done. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Shooting for Washington. Rui Hachimura. Two. And the first one at the line is good. Yurtsevini's checked in for Miami. Both shots good from a strike. The skill set of Rui Hachimura is enticing, guys. A big man who can stretch the floor with a shooting, obviously of huge value in the modern game. Oladipo, left side. Now the pass to Stiff. Elbow shot. Good saving. And he lays it straight in. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. 107 left in the first quarter. Avdia kicks to Morris. Avdia, the pass to Kispert. Pass to Hachimura. Over Deadman, 11 feet out, and he hits it. Such a very consistent in-between shooter. The defense can't afford to let Hachimura get separation. It's to Deadman. Good on the bucket. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Pass to Avdia. Now, here's Gaffer. Morris outside. The pass to Gaffer. Five to shoot. Here's Kispert. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Washington shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. The first free throw is good.
and that's good as he hits both of his shots. Well, he leading by 22. Oladipo outside. Pass to Yurtsevin. Oladipo outside. Guys, Bam Adebayo getting it done for Miami. Scoring, rebounding. He was all over the place during that quarter. They are writing his performance right now. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Fans, please give a big round of applause. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And for the Heat here, they've been putting on a show, guys. Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Boy, it's been a really pretty thing to watch, executing their game plan to perfection. We've got Caleb Martin. Jimmy Butler. Are we out there with Stiff? And there's Jimmy Butler. And it's your in at the five, roaming the paint. So that's who Miami starts the second with. Right, we know the league's cracking down on those dangerous plays that risk a player's health. Why was that less of a focus when you play? Uh, that's a great question. You know, I think it's smarter to approach the game this way. We, we don't want to have unnecessary injury because of guys maybe just taking it a little too far with the physicality. Now, here's Lowry. They lead by 24. Their biggest margin. How about Kyle Lowry has spent his entire career finding open teammates. And it's right with the ball for the Wizards. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Now, Kristaps Porzingis famously earned the nickname the Unicorn for his combination of size and skill. Former All-Star, injuries have held him back. But now a new team presents a new opportunity. KP says, I'm going to take my game to the next level because my body is going to be healthy, and that's it. Well, Kevin, let's hope so. Absolutely. He has had injuries along the way, but the talent is obvious. David, thanks. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Back to right. The 11-footer. And the shot DeLon goes in. Wright. You have Assistant to account for DeLon Wright at Will the cup. Wilson. This guy has good size at his position. Lowry passes to Stiff. And they call an illegal screen here. That's great. And not the most common First call you'll ball. see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Now here's Wright. Pass to Beal. Passes it to Kuzma. And Kuzma slams it in. This is the area of greatest improvement in Mr. Bradley Beal's game. How about the growth in his passing? Wow. The pass to Yurtsevin. Unloads from 13. Rebounded by the Wizards. Barton outside. That one misses. Some solid defense from Butler. Here's Stiff. Another shot. And the layup is good. Stiff's got four this quarter. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Washington calls timeout. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time You're getting anything to go. Adebayo's checked in. It's right on the wing. Now recovering. Right against Lowry. And Adebayo 
sends it back. And a menace defensively at about with the SWAT. He, he's an all defensive team member for a reason. Outside Butler. Heel against Diff. Martin's in the post. Six on the shot clock. Butler against Barton. Shots good from Butler. Oh, this guy's such a throwback player. Jimmy Butler working the mid-range. Wizards have gone three of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. Beal the pass to right. Now Barton. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Pulls it up. And that one goes long. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And that one is good. And what can Adebayo do? I mean, gets the tough rebounds, scores the tough baskets, and then makes the right pass. And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drop. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Fires it up. Kuzma can't get it to go. Listen, we know the mid-range game is in this guy's arsenal, but you wonder should he have moved it just one pass more. Outside for Lowry. Pass to Stiff. Adebayo down low. He's covered by Hachimura. And that one, good. Adebayo's got 12. And inside is where Bam is at his best. He knows how to outwork the other guys in the paint. And that's a foul. Called on Bradley Beal. Bradley that's his first foul. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. Max Truss has checked in for Caleb Martin. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. Here's Butler. He's coming off a 13-point game against Minnesota. And his passing was simply amazing. A lot of fun to watch. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. The Wizards shooting just 31% in the game. And right kicks to Hachimura. Pass to Barton. The Wizards with another miss. And it's Adebayo with the ball for the Miami Heat. They've only given up six here in this quarter. It's good again in the next one. Seven for eight shooting night so far. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Here's Beal. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. This guy just can't find his rhythm, and you look up at the scoreboard, they absolutely need his productivity. Well, the subject of trade rumors year after year, Beal has the skill set every team is looking for. Well, he's elite at scoring the basketball, and he understands when and how to create for the players around him. There's only a handful of guys in this league who can do what he does with his level of consistency. Lock at six. Three-pointer, Barton gets that one to drop. First one of the game after four straight misses. And guys getting into a nice groove here, starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Now, here's Drews. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. And the basket by Lowry. Lowry's got 13 physical contact. The game of basketball is not a non-contact sport. Go ahead, Kyle. Now here's Barton. He's guarded close. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Passes it to Stiff. Hachimura against Lowry. Now the pass to Stiff. Trying to get open is out of Iowa. And the Heat, another three. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of it. Beal finds Hachimura. And the foul on Rui Hachimura. That is his first foul of the game. 
And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. And Miami making a change here. Vincent's checked in. And then for Washington, Daniel Gafford's checked in for Hachimura. Abdia comes in for Barton. And Morris subbed in for Beal. Here's Vincent, currently averaging almost six points a game. Time to get open is out of bio. Good work defensively by Morris. Washington's gone one of two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Pass to Abdia. Kuzma against Adebayo. Kuzma kicks to Abdia. Bangs home the trifecta. Abdia has got his first three points of the game. Boy, smart decision from Kuzma right there. Skilled getting the basketball to his teammate. Here's Adebayo. Rebound by the Wizards. Gafford's got four rebounds in this game. Poked loose. And here's the fast break. Vincent misses. Washington's gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. And yes, it's good. Yeah, there's no quitting this guy. He just gives you great effort and he continues to give you great production. Pass to Stiff. And here is Truce. Good ball movement here by Miami. Here's Adebayo. Again, the miss by the Heat. Washington shooting 40% since the beginning of the second quarter. Afford kicks to Abdia. Passes to right. Wide open. Rebound by the Heat. Stith's got five rebounds tonight. Boy, a really tough quarter for this guy. Just struggling to make shots right now. Shoots from the corner. That's good again. His seventh basket. Seven for ten from the floor. Here's Morris. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Charlotte. And his court vision was extraordinary, too. Let's not forget that. He was flawless passing the ball. Now, here's Avdia. Here's the pass to Gaffer. Down to five on the shot clock. That's in. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. And, guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Now, here's Struce. He's covered closely. Here's Butler. Trying to get open is out of bio. Shots good from Butler. Seven points for Jimmy Butler. Don't you love the mentality of Jimmy Butler? He almost embraces the contact, invites the contact. Avdia, the pass to Gaffer. Feeds it to right. Morris outside. And the Wizards hit again from deep. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. And that one drops. Well, just a great example of Jimmy Butler's unselfishness. On time and on target. Beautiful pass. Morris kicks to right. We've got 123 left to play here in the second quarter. Adebayo against Gafford. Here's Morris. No good on the shot. And Miami the other way now. Here's Struce. And he uses the glass on the way. Struce has got five points so far. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Going right to the rim, which is where you want transition opportunities to end. Now, here's Avdia. That one off the back iron and out. Now, here's Struce. He's tightly guarded. Pass to Autobio. Over Morris. The fadeaway J off the mark. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. to the wing right side and the wide open shot from Avdia and it's off from three point range Miami's gone 5 of 8 from three point land 15 points and a deep ball for them tonight oh and the jam yeah. by Butler Me. well the defense slow to react Jimmy Butler just takes advantage nice finish 
Pass to Kuzma. Lots of room. No good on that one. He's got to be disappointed with himself on that one. He has got to knock those down. A dominating first half of basketball. And so far, hasn't been close. Heat out front, just dominating this one. And we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. A fantastic game from the kid in this one. And, and you know he's going to put up points every time out, but boy, he made it look so easy in that first half. And let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. Checking out now the group for Wes Unzel Jr. to start the second half. Will Barton. They've got Daniel Gamble. Will Barton is out there with Kyle five. Kuzma. Then there's Bradley Beal. Now and it's right line. in at the one spot. Jimmy Miami Butler. shooting their sixth attempt at the one. charity stripe in the game. That free throw good from Butler. By their very presence, certain guys just change the feel of a team. Jimmy Butler's presence is so strong that he has an immediate impact no matter where he goes. Now here's Barton. Pass to Beal. A rebound by Stiff. Miami's gone. Five of eight from three-point land. Fifteen points and a deep ball for them tonight. Back to Lowry. And there's the pass to Stiff. The shot's good on the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And he's really made the most of his opportunities today. I mean, he needs to keep working for those kinds of looks. Now here's Beal. Pass to Gafford. Wizards passing it around. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Third personal foul. First, the Wizards have scored six points from their eight attempts at the line so far. Yeah, and over the course of the season, they're a respectable 78%. That comes in handy in close games. That free throw good from Barton. Both free throws good from Barton. Miami with the ball. Now here's Lowry. 13 points in the game. Out to the wing. Adebayo passes to Stiff. Shot clock at six. And it's good for two. Adebayo's got 18 points. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Outside, Beal. Baseline jumper. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. 
Adebayo's got 13 rebounds in the game. Seed it. GA, he's asked to carry a big time scoring one. But Bradley Beal makes his teammates better as well. And that's an area, Kevin, he has really grown. And his playmaking, when the defense overcommits, you make them pay with the pass. This is his third trip to the free throw line. First one falls for him. And so Butler nails both of them. The Wizards shooting at a 32% clip from the field. They're just not executing. And Beal kicks to right. Martin surveying the floor. Back to right. It's stolen by Lowry. Outside, Martin. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Butler's got nine assists in the game. Great pass. Brilliant second half start. Four for four from the field. Can't ask for any better. And that was another look at the fantastic mobile one drop that happened a moment ago. Still going hard, and that kind of energy and effort is how they built this lead. Now, here's Kuzma. Six points for him. Five on the clock. Miami grabs the miss. Stith's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Boy, that makes him 0 for 3 to start the second half. Not the start you were hoping for here. Here is Stiff. He's got 18. To the inside. Martin and finished off by Martin. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. And at this point, it is their game to lose. They've done such a good job building the lead. And the short break in the action gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldrin. Thanks, Kevin. Wizards ownership has promised to never hit the hard reset button. We saw from teams in recent years like the Sixers. But the fact remains that this is a franchise that last enjoyed a 50-win season in 1979. So for the patient, diehard fans in the DMV, it seems the wait for a true contender may take a lot longer. Kevin? Uh, well, time will tell, David. Thanks. Boy, that was a much-needed bucket in the second half. They're now one for five. Right against Lowry. Outside, Martin. Back to Lowry. And he makes good on the way. Lowry's got 15 points. And everything is dropping for them. Terrific second half run. And I think it's been all about their offensive efficiency, shooting the lights out in this quarter. Back to Beal. That one falls. He has six. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. Pass to Stiff. Back to Lowry. Passes it to Butler. And they pick up two. Well, this guy is elite as a two-way player. Jimmy Butler able to take on the scoring load. He's cooking right now. Right against Lowry. Softly drops in the floater. Right. Wright's got his second bucket tonight. Well, instead of forcing it all the way to the cup, he just goes with that little teardrop. Stiff the pass to Martin. Here's Adebayo. That's in, coming off an assist from Lowry. Lowry's got assist number five here tonight. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. And Beal kicks to Barton. And the pass to Kuzma. Right, looking around. It's tipped. 
Here is Stiff. He's got 18. Tries it from the top of the key. Lowry can't get it to go. Pass to right. Over Lowry. It's Autobio with the rebound. Autobio's got 14. Yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. Outside Lowry. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to go on Will Barton. And the man who many consider the greatest Raptor of all time, Kyle Lowry. He said he plans to return to retire in Toronto someday. He's already had a street named after him there. And in time, probably a statue in his honor as well. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. Boy, Kyle Lowry, you can't help but notice the frame, right? He is a bit undersized, and yet here is a guy who has been a consistent two-way force in the NBA, has truly had a remarkably consistent career. Catching. So Miami takes this one by a big margin. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Uh, I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense, potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alders, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you later.